You know, this is the time of year when mushrooms tend to come up out of the ground, but a lot of you have been seeing extra large mushrooms and more of them. So what's causing these extra large fungus among us? Well, like Millie Vanilli used to say, you can blame it on the rain. They're popping up just about everywhere. You don't have to look far to find them. Mushrooms, maybe in your lawn. And yep, you can blame the weather for that one too. So it's been the rain, the warm temperatures, that fluctuation of cool and hot and rain really creates the right combination for the mushrooms to fruit and then drop their spores. So should you fear this fungus? No. Mushrooms are a natural part of our ecosystem. Slime molds exist around us. It'll be there for a few days and then we'll die, disintegrate, dissolve back into the earth and help replenish your soil. So no need to be concerned if you see some mushrooms or slime mold pop up in your lawn. But please resist the temptation to taste these toadstools. Many can be toxic. My advice is to avoid eating wild mushrooms unless you are 100% certain of what you are consuming and do not rely on Facebook or social media or the internet to you know, confirm the identification of something. And if you're concerned about kids or pets. You can absolutely remove it, dispose of it, throw it, you know, over the fence or something so your pets and children cannot access that mushroom. I find dogs often just ignore them and continue playing. Generally, I think they're in something to observe and to be fascinated by when they pop up and then to watch the process of decay and appreciate them as part of our ecosystem. And of course, if you have any concerns about something that maybe your child or your pet has consumed, you're well advised to call your doctor or your veterinarian immediately. In Newton, AJ Burnett, WCBB News Center 5.